Okay, friends, so we are going to tackle another text structure today, and this text structure is called description. Okay, description is a little bit trickier because you really have to consider what's being talk, uh, written about in the text. So, a description text structure is used to describe a location, idea, or event. So, it's going to give us a lot of details. Okay, here this text has a nice photograph, a nice text feature to help us understand a little bit better. It says, The pond was a beautiful place to visit. The falling leaves, all different colors, decorated the surface of the water. At the edges of the pond, small wildflowers grew. The golden forest glowed faintly in the distance. It's giving me a ton of details and information and allowing me to kind of paint a picture in my mind. You'll also notice that it has a sentence here. The pond was a beautiful place to visit. And all of the sentences after tell me why it's beautiful. Okay. So that's called the main idea. And then the sentences below are giving me more information, giving me details, letting me imagine it. You'll also notice in this text, you don't have any of the clue words that were used in the other text structures. So chronological order, we don't have any first, next, last, compare, contrast. In this description, we're not using both or um, while or difference. Uh, same with our, <clears throat> I'm sorry, we skipped problem and solution. So, um, and then this one's description. So our other text structure that we have been working on was, oh goodness, I'm having a brain moment. You guys know I have these often. I'm, I apologize. I'm really trying to get my brain back and working. Cause and effect. Oh man, yep, I knew that. And so we don't have the words like cause, um, because, effect, as a result, and so. So description is a little different. We really have to read carefully and consider what is this text telling us? We can't just peek for clue words within it. Um, as we move on here, though, there are some clue words that description may use. One reason, another reason, and for example. Okay, Those are used a lot when they're describing ideas. So they're trying to tell you more information about an idea. But they can also, when they're describing a place or a thing, they might use these spatial words, such as next to by, along, in, above, and so forth, because those all give you a clue and let you paint that mental image. Description texts are really, really tricky because you have to read them carefully and ask yourself, what is this telling me? And is it telling me about something? If it's telling me about something, it's probably describing it. 